Singh. I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, and I'm also the founder of Malaria Free World. So Malaria Free World is a nonprofit organization aimed at raising awareness about the malaria epidemic, as well as raising funds for malaria eradication efforts. Uh, we were initially started just to go to middle schools and elementary schools and talk to kids about malaria and get them excited about STEM and excited about going into malaria research. But since we got onto social media, now we've expanded internationally. So we have branches in India, Sudan, Nigeria, and Egypt as well. So it's really exciting now that we have champions of malaria eradication in the United States who are interested in going into malaria research and do advocacy work for us. But we also have champions internationally who are very, very involved in making a better place for their own communities. So they go door to door, 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 sorry, they go door, door, door to door and actually raise awareness about how malaria can be pre prevented um, through sleeping under bed nets, through preventing still water. So by empowering the next generation of leaders, we really hope we can make a difference. What we do right now is that we raise awareness. So we do a lot of presentations. We have a program called Malaria Masters where we give kids the tools to do their own presentations. So we give them PowerPoints. We have a lot of posters, a lot of materials, um, crossword puzzles, um, word searches, tattoos, just stuff to get kids really excited about going into this. Um, so that's our primary method right now. Over the summer, we used all the funds we raised last year to conduct international events in India. So we were there for about a week and we educated over 2,500 kids, um, ranging from very, very rich neighborhoods to almost the slums. So we got a very uh, wide understanding of the disease in a malaria endemic region. So those are like our primary methods right now. I started Malaria Free World after a summer internship that I did, uh, actually doing malaria research. It was in Boston, so I used to have all these phone calls with my friends. We talked about what I was doing, what they were doing. A lot of them were doing cancer research, Alzheimer's, and I was here doing malaria. And they were all like, why are you doing malaria? It's not even important here. We don't hear about it. Is it even a disease? Uh, so I realized we have this huge gap in understanding of why um, a disease like malaria really matters in countries apart from the United States. And it used to matter here a lot too, but we eliminated it. So right now, um, so now what we do is that we bring that malaria into the United States. We show people that it actually does matter and that's kind of the major goal of our organization. I think the biggest thing is just to pursue your passions. I mean you should never be afraid of uh, getting a no uh, because if you email enough people someone will say yes um, and also if you're passionate about something enough it does come through. So it doesn't matter if you're passionate about malaria or cancer or Alzheimer's, just pursue what you want to. There's so many opportunities, especially in this area for people who are interested in science or STEM, um, and they can go into those. Just never be afraid of anyone saying no to you. So um, we can go to our website, www.malariafreeworld.org, um, and we have a contact us page. Uh, we also have a great program called Malaria Masters, where kids can directly get involved in our programs and be basically part of our organization by becoming heads of their own mini malaria eradication efforts. So those are the two major ways that they can um, basically join us.